Following the G7 summit in Italy, Secretary Tillerson will travel to Moscow tomorrow. Tillerson and the Trump administration are putting new pressure on the Kremlin for supporting Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. Secretary Tillerson will meet his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, but the Kremlin said this morning that he will not meet with Vladimir Putin. It's still unclear what the next steps are in Syria after last week's U.S. missile attack. That strike targeted the air base that launched a chemical attack on civilians. Well, there's a new CBS News poll out this morning that shows a majority of Americans approve of that airstrike. 57% of those polled said the president made the right decision. 36% said he did not. To dig into these numbers a little deeper, let's bring in CBS News Elections Director Anthony Salvanto, who joins us from Washington, D.C. Anthony, good to see you. Hey, Vlad, how are you? All right, so let's start with Syria. We just put up the poll showing that a majority of Americans approve of last week's airstrikes. But what did respondents have to say about future military action? Yeah, they approve of the airstrike, but they're leery of anything further, anything, any deeper involvement in Syria. When you ask how far should the U.S. go, only 18 percent say it should go so far as to put ground troops in to have a complete military involvement there. They're a little more supportive of just sticking to airstrikes. And then you start to see some partisan splits, Vlad, where Democrats are much more inclined to say use some form of a diplomatic solution. So you know, even after the Iraq war, we saw this over years in polls where Americans were just a little bit hesitant to start getting involved in these conflicts in the Middle East. Vlad. Anthony, what did the poll find about Americans' confidence in President Trump's ability to handle the Syria crisis moving forward? Yeah, even as his overall approval rating has gone up, there's still an unease about his handling of Syria. And I think that's part and parcel with the uncertainty that people see in the conflict and in the region. So while majorities still say that they're uneasy about his approach, I think that goes hand in hand with the fact that they don't necessarily see or know what the correct solution is to the conflict and that creates that kind of unease you also see them the americans say go to congress for more approval go to congress for anything further for authorization and that again is part of sort of bringing more folks into this process so anthony we also mentioned that secretary of state rex turleson will travel to russia tomorrow and you ask people for their feelings about the president's approach to russia in general what they have to say about that yeah, the number who say that they feel the president has been too friendly towards Russia has dropped a little bit. And it's dropped in particular among independents. And one of the things that we were looking for there, Vlad, is, you know, there's been this pushback among the president's critics for saying that he's been too friendly. Well, does this strike do anything to change that perception? And the answer is it has a little bit. So if the U.S. and Russia disagree over what to do here, you start to see some of that reflected in the polls where people are saying, OK, it's not not no longer too friendly. He's not no longer behaving in a, in a too friendly fashion toward the toward uh, toward Russia. Before we let you go, Anthony, you mentioned the president's overall job approval. Where does Mr. Trump stand in the wake of that military action last week? Well, he's seen a slight increase. It's gone, for, gone up to 43% uh, approval. It was hovering. It was at 40. Um, that's a bump. You know, what a lot of folks said about this particular strike is they felt the use of chemical weapons was immoral, though not necessarily a direct threat to the United States. Well, taking action against something that people said was immoral, it's not surprising, perhaps, that that leads to a bump in his overall approval rating. That bump comes mainly from independents. Those partisan lines are still very hard and fast there, as we've seen throughout his administration. Uh, but now the question is, as you mentioned at the top, whether or not that uneasiness about Syria can translate into more confidence. And I think that'll tell the tale of his overall approval rating going forward. All right. Our Anthony Salvanto in Washington, as always, thank you. Thanks.